Drop a like in the next 5 seconds if you want to get every single item in Fortnite. Before we start with the video, I want to let you all know that I'm gifting subscribers anything from the item shop. This includes free skins and free emotes. Now, if you also want to have a chance of getting a free gift for me, then all you have to do is first of all, subscribe to my channel, drop a like on this video and also make sure to leave a comment down below telling me your Epic Games username. This way, I can add you. But with all that said, let's begin with today's video. Welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far and in this video I'll be showing you the best and the most overpowered working glitches in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now real quick, we're so close to 2.5 million subscribers, so if you hit the subscribe button right now, you could be my 2,500,000 subscriber. And also, huge shout out to everyone who's using code SHUFFLEGAMER in the item shop. If you do use the code, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section by saying I used your code and I will give your comment a heart. Now, with all that said, let's actually start with the video. Alright, so the first glitch which I'm going to show you is going to be one of the most overpowered glitches ever. It will allow you to become a prop anywhere around the map. This is by far the coolest glitch I've ever seen in the game. Now of course, this glitch involves the mech. So first of all, find yourself a mech around the map. They still spawn quite often. So finding one should not really be any problem. Once you've gotten one, make your way over to Moisty Palms and position the mech just like this as I do in the video. You want to position it so it's facing the Moisty Palms rift zone, but make sure is not completely in. Its right foot as well as some parts of the mech's back have to stick out. Once you have it positioned just like this, what you need to do is the following. You want to exit the mech and get into the rift zone. From here, run towards the mech, press the button to crouch and from there, press the button to enter the mech. You almost want to press them at the exact same time. It's all about timing here. But make sure you press the button to crouch first and straight after, pretty much a millisecond later, press the enter button. Just keep on doing it till you get it to work. But once you get it to work, you will glitch yourself to the other side of the rift zone and if you then just crouch, you will become a prop. Now, when you're in this glitch, you can still play like normal. But just remember, when crouching, you will become a prop. So that could be kind of confusing, especially during healing or shooting. Anyways, you can still shoot, pick up weapons, Weapons, harvest materials and revive teammates. The only thing you cannot do is enter vehicles or zip lines. Also, if you were to do this glitch in duos or squads and you get revived, you will somehow still have the glitch working. But if you get rebooted, you will no longer have it. Now, as I said, this glitch can be quite overpowered. I mean, how would they expect a random car or cactus to be an actual player? Just pick the right prop for the scene and make sure they don't see you moving. By the way, when you are a prop and you press the aim button, you will be able to look around. Now, I managed to get some really cool clips with this glitch. So, before I move on with the next glitch, let me show you some. Okay, so next up, I have a simple glitch which will allow you to build and shoot while everyone else is dancing during taco time at Greasy Grove. For this, you first of all need a launch pad and some material. What you then want to do is place a floor, place a wall on it and finish it off by placing a roof. Next up, just place the launch pad and wait for taco time to start. When you hear the music fading in, you want to jump onto the launch pad and you will notice that your character is going to glitch out between the launch pad and the roof. Just stay in that position for a bit and when the dance should have started, exit out of the launch pad. You now will be able to build and shoot while everyone else is dancing. I know taco time will only take about 5 after 10 seconds, but in those few seconds you can actually get some really cool results. Unfortunately, you cannot eliminate opponents, but either way you can trap them with a 1x1 one one and pretty much have some fun. Here's a clip of me trying to eliminate an opponent while he was dancing. He was just completely confused. 
Moving on to our third glitch already, we have two shield bubble glitches. The first one being an invisible shield bubble glitch. All you need for this is find yourself a shield bubble, and they can be found from floor loot, chests, supply drops, and vending machines. And by the way, they will always spawn in stacks of two. Now, after you've found one, you need to make your way over to Rito Row, and from there, start shooting a zombie spawner. You want to get it to almost 0 HP, but make sure it's not fully destroyed yet. When the zombie spawner is really low on health, throw the shield bubble on it and then completely destroy the zombie spawner with a weapon. From there, the shield bubble will become invisible and you will have a magic protection field around you for 30 seconds straight. Even brutes won't be able to go through it and kill you. Now, the second shield bubble glitch is going to allow you to travel across the map without being shot. For this, you need a shield bubble as well as a driftboard. What you need to do is throw the shield bubble on your driftboard and from there, just start driving around. This glitch is pretty old, but it's still very useful. From there, we have a launchpad glitch, which will allow you to walk on it without being launched up. The perfect glitch to troll your friends. Just place the launchpad anywhere across the map and place a pyramid on top of it. From here, stand on top of the pyramid and edit it like I do in the video. Then, destroy the pyramid and you should be done. It looks really cool and you can even emote while standing on it. It looks really cool in my opinion. Another great glitch, which looks really funny, is the zipline emote glitch. This will allow you to ride a zipline as well as perform emotes at the exact same time. For this, head over to any zipline across the map and stand directly near it. This will show you the button to enter the zipline. What you then want to do is pick your emote and start dancing. From there, press the button to ride the zipline and as you will see, you will now emote while riding the zipline. You can get some really cool combinations with this. So, just try out all of your emotes and let me know which one is your favorite. From here, we have a glitch to get inside of the Loot Lake Orb. This is the perfect hiding spot in my opinion. You will even be able to shoot out of it. For this, you will first of all need a mech as well as some material. Then, build your way over to the orb and make sure you build a platform all around it. From here, get into your mech, walk towards the orb and just when you're about to enter the rift, go ahead and boost and straight after, exit the mech. This will spawn you inside of the orb itself, and because you created the platform, you will be able to walk around, build, crouch, and even shoot. The perfect spot to hide from enemy players. Next up, we have a really cool glitch to get the Gotham City cape as well as the Rift Zone effect on screen. For this, get yourself a mech once again. After you got yourself a mech, you need to make your way over to Gotham City and enter the Rift Zone. From there, walk over to the barrier and position it just like this. Then, exit the mech and you should spawn outside of the Rift Zone. If it's not working, you have to move the mech a little bit forward. However, you will still wear the cape as well as have the Gotham City effect on screen. This glitch is just really cool in my opinion. I've also found a take no storm damage glitch. Pretty much a victory royale glitch. As you can see from this clip right here, I took no storm damage at all. So if you want me to work on this glitch and show it to you, make sure to stay tuned here on the channel. Moving on, there is an invisibility glitch. For this, first of all head over to creative. Start up your own server and join your own creative island. Next up, what you want to do is open your creative phone, go to galleries and pick any gallery you want. I would go for the Dusty Depot one, but it doesn't really matter. Next up, you want to ask yourself, do you want to become invisible while being very tiny, very big, or just normal size? You basically need to copy an object from the gallery you spawned in with the size that you want to become. So, for instance, this computer screen will make you very tiny, this wooden box will make you normal size, and the container will make you very big. Anyways, once you find the object you want to become at size of, copy and paste it right next to the Creative Hub Rift. From there, get out your creative phone once again, go to weapons and get yourself a problematic gun. After you got this rare ranged weapon, double press the jump button to enter fly mode and from there, hold the button to face through objects. Make sure this is set to on. After that, move your character so it's into the creative hub rift zone itself and from there, shoot at the object you just placed there. This will make your character spawn at the creative hub, but it will be invisible and you also will be the size of the prop you just shot. So from there, get into your own creative island and start having fun while being invisible. And as you can see, I did this glitch with a number of objects with different sizes, and so it had some cool different results. But of course, when being invisible, you can still build, shoot, and even drive vehicles. 
definitely a great glitch which you can use to troll your friends. Now, if you want me to upload a video showing you how to unlock all items for free in Fortnite, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and from there, stay tuned. Once this video reaches a ton of support, I'll make sure to post that video. So go ahead and turn on your notifications right now as well as share this video with all your friends. Anyways, that's it for now. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give the like down below. And if you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe so you don't have to miss any other video from me. But with all that being said, always remember, this was Shovel Gamer, and I am signing out.